you want to marry more than one person, you go right ahead. You you volunteering for that headache. <laughs> I mean, Neo said that he he doesn't know if marriage will be for him, you know, again, you know, with multiple people, but he thinks it should be legal. But obviously the relationship with multiple people is something he's fully embracing. Neo, he got divorced last year and, you know, he has two girlfriends now, man. TMZ caught up with Neo in the streets and he was holding hands with two women. Um, they asked him about him, his relationships with them. Wow, 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 wow. I like it. You like it? I do like it. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, he's another one. He had three kids with his ex. Yeah, he's got, his ex he's got like seven kids total. Man, these R&B dudes, like, I, it's crazy. You know, they asked him, you know, if he thinks polygamy should be legal. He's, he's, he thinks it should be allowed. He thinks, um, you know, people should be able, be able to marry multiple people. He said this while holding hands with his two girlfriends. Um, <laughs> so he, they said he actually was in Miami holding hands with two women last summer after his divorce divorce from ex-wife uh, Crystal Renee. Mm -hmm. You know, the two split in part because of Neil's infidelity in the past. And, you know, it seems like a woman with two women might suit him better than a relationship with just one. Um, what do you think about his thoughts on polygamy being like a legal thing, like being able to marry more than one people? Do you agree with him or do you think that's too far? I mean, I think it should be legal. They make everything else legal. Why not this? They don't make everything else legal. <laughs> they don't. There's the, this is illegal. So why? Like that? That's not. We're not going down that road. Because <laughs> you know I'm looking at you. <laughs> we're not going down the road. I'm not trying to go down that road. I'm just saying they make a lot of stuff legal. Let's, that let's stay on the topic. <laughs> Polygamy. <laughs> Listen, I, I think it should be legal. I don't see why not. I mean, you know, this you're Christian. This country, you know, is built on Christian beliefs. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. You don't think so? I think they pretend. I mean, it's on our money. I mean, they pick and choose. But, exactly. You know, at the core, we've got pyramids on our money. Why? <laughs> like, it's not <laughs> a single fucking pyramid in the United States. <laughs> you you take it to way <laughs> too many places. You just said that we got God on our money. I'm like, come on, we I'm got white men on our money. <laughs> Okay. Look at what they did to this country. <laughs> what they, look what they did to everybody that lived here. ADHD right now. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like there should be a limit. You know me. I, I've said that I think people should only be able to get married a few times because people get married, divorced. It's just too much. Like, what, three All right. So out. what's the limit? Three strikes? Yeah. And three wives? <laughs> Not at the same time. No, um, I think... Hmm. For polygamy, I think it should be spaced out. Like maybe after five years, you have one wife, you know, then you can bring on another. Then after another two, three years, you can have a second one if you guys are doing well. And we should be taxing these people more money because <laughs> they have a lot of income. I mean, we talked about the people doing this for more affordable housing, and this could be a way for us to you know get more social programs no 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 there's not going to be that many people that do this that's not fair to tax them more what do you mean how do you know maybe this becomes more popular we talk about gen z being like more open and you know having different preferences maybe this will be more you know of a thing for the younger generation i i don't know if i, I just don't see it happening like that like i i think that there's specific people where yeah this would probably work but i think for way more people it's it's a lot to deal with like it's hard enough having a good relationship with one person mm -hmm. than trying to have that with two three people like i i just don't i don't see it as a realistic possibility for enough people where we should be able to tax them differently or anything <laughs> like that or even for them there to be like blocks against this like if you want to marry more than one person you go right ahead you you volunteering for that headache <laughs> I mean, Neo said that he he doesn't know if marriage will be for him, you know, again, you know, with multiple people, but he thinks it should be legal. But obviously the relationship with multiple people is something he's fully embracing. What do you think about him walking around with two different people? Do you, do you think that fire <laughs> fire? If I wasn't, if I was Neo, I would do the same thing. I've, I'm well documented saying that if I was ever rich or famous or both, 
I probably wouldn't get married. Now, wow. if you get rich and famous after you've been married, then yeah, you have a an ex. Like you should continue building with the person that helped get you to that point. That makes complete sense. But why are you well documented in the stand? Because that's how I feel about it. I, I I've talked about Tiger Woods. I've talked about oh Jordan. I've talked about mad celebrities that go Dame, who get married, and it's like, why? I mean, aren't you supposed to get married because you love the person? You want to build a family? It shouldn't matter if you're famous and rich or not. They really. already built the family. They already got mad kids. Like, you getting married just to, what, have the legal aspect of it? Give her her millions of dollars every year and you, she'll be fine. No. like that's, Marriage is supposed to be, like, something, you know, between you and another person. I, f- like, I feel like... It's supposed w- to be... Out, outside circumstances aren't supposed to be relevant and that's type of situation so i don't understand i don't for me like if i was rich and famous it wouldn't change the fact that i would you know want to settle down and have a family um it may happen a little bit later do you feel like though that you have to get married to settle down and have a family no i don't feel like i have to do any of these things but so you know i don't think i'd be open to the polygamy thing like getting married to multiple people because that's multiple divorces like that's awful like <laughs> i'm good <laughs> imagine I'll- not just splitting your money one way it's like two ways <laughs> three ways <laughs> <laughs> for real and it's just like damn man like i feel like the, the the i'm stacking the cards against me like they're gonna team up and and go against me and exactly. legally i don't want to be tied to and then they're gonna get married <laughs> <laughs> for real we'll raise the kids together like well, damn um i don't know man yeah, they mess around and take everything you got yeah and, and more um uh, but yeah let us know guys do you think polygamy should be legal um would you entertain that type of lifestyle uh yourself and do you think being rich and famous you know impacts your choice on you know whether or not to get married you know i i think it's different for everybody um but I, it, I think it should be legal, but I feel like we need to restructure marriage as a whole. Like, honestly, I think getting divorced is way too much uh, of a pain. I think, you know, there should be terms. There should be terms. There should be five, ten-year terms where you restructure things and you, ha- you have a, an exit clause. Um, I think it should be Julian alive. wants contracts like it is a professional league <laughs> it is <laughs> it's fucking boxing man it's Yo, tough. Um, imagine if we set up the 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 marriage market the same way that there's like an nfl draft what do you say <laughs> like every year there's a there's a select group of of individuals that hit the draft market like either you can <laughs> Should I stop? Should no, I, I'm, 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 you know, sometimes, you know, people say, you know, Brian's, Brian's a little bit um, misogynistic. And I'm just, I'm just waiting. No, for I'm saying, I'm saying both ways. I, I, I'm saying for, for girls, there should be a draft. For guys, there should be a draft. I, I think that this is the way we should set it up. How do you determine who's getting drafted and who's picking? I, I see. I haven't worked out all the details of that yet. That's the thing. Like I have to come up with a system for it, and then I'll get back to you. But that's why I wanted you to finish. But I that's what I was draft. thinking. That's why I was laughing. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> you would have to volunteer for the draft. Not everybody's gonna. Vo- it's like volunteering for a dating show. It's just like that. Man, I don't want no leftover. Um, never mind. <laughs> Isn't it all leftover? No, man. No, I, I want. Oh, you dating virgins now? Excuse me, I'm just not what I mean. It's <laughs> not what I mean. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Man, sports. <laughs> subscribe on YouTube, subscribe on Spotify, follow on Instagram, of Twitter, TikTok, like all the apps, all the apps. We're everywhere. We are everywhere. everywhere. <laughs>